feeder's washed out. We'll squirt the bees up here, show Asher how quickly they go away. And what they'll probably do is go down in there. Some people think they groom the honey mixture off of themselves. What I'm going to do right now is scrape the comb off the bottom of my feeder. What I'm going to do is set this near the front of the hive. The bees that are on it will smell the hive and right. move back into it. Um, so I think that is, is that honeycomb? That's, that's, um, that would be called comb, yes. And you can see the other side of it here, they were gluing, they were building comb, bridging between the bottom of the oh, feeder right. and the top of the... Just making use of the space. Yeah. See, I just scratched off some comb. He's not concerned. He's trying to figure out what I'm, where he's going. But. See it on top there? That's the stuff that is. So okay. what we're going to do is look at some of these frames. Right here, at this level here, I have a queen excluder. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Yeah, it's a grid, small enough for the bees to go through, but the queen, but, I mean, big enough for the bees to go through, and small enough the queen cannot. Yeah. The queen I want to keep down here. Yeah. So let's... Now they've noticed that I'm doing something here. I'm not sure they like it. So, this is the, the westmost frame here. As you can see, the bees have started to build the wax up. You see the white? Oh, yeah. I'm to reach over and touch it if you want to. It's deeper on that side. You want to reach over and touch that where a bee is? Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it, Asher? So I hear some bees hanging from the bottom. They were probably hanging there to make a fanning area. Now you can see they're putting some honey. See the liquid blister in there? Right in this area here? Oh, yeah. Even though they haven't button. drawn the comb all the way out, if you really draw the comb more, you can see more of the honey. See the bees with their heads inside? That's what they're doing is they're either emptying out or puking up, as it were, the nectar that they got and spitting the nectar out or else they're sampling it and stirring it or chewing it and spitting it back in. That's how they mix the honey, the various nectars from the honey. The tunnels on each end, they just chew those out. Um, if you pull one of those frames out, you'll see that the thing does not quite go all the way to the end. Yeah, it seems like they're the end. They will chew out at the, uh, an area. They'll rearrange it the way they want. And you said, are they called frames? Hmm? They called a frame. That's called a frame, yeah. So let's encourage these to be quieter. Now here's a more full hive or wow. frame. Let's see if we've got some wild comb at the bottom. 
Now here, what they've done is they've put the cap over the honey. You see that? Does that mean it's done? Yeah, basically it's dried out to the right amount of moisture that they use for them. You can touch the cap. It's very fragile. I mean, up here by my tool. See how smooth that is? What I'm going to do is go over here and cut this comb on the bottom off. Now I sure want you to do something. Go to the front of the hive, toward the front of the hive where you can look at it. And you see how those bees are just going about their business, going out and getting nectar, even though we're up here at the top disturbing their hive. You see that? Okay. What we want to do is put this back together. I'm going to lift a box up, this whole top box off. So I'm going to lift the top super off. It has some deep frames and some medium frames. Those are medium frames, a little over six inches in height. I've just loosened the propolis around the queen excluder, so I can lift this. Maybe with the whole lot up. Yeah. Got some bees over here in that pressure. So now here we see some honey that they, they had grown all the way down to the queen excluder. And I'm going to scrape that off. The reason that all this has grown here is because over here on this side of that super mm -hmm. were deep frames, about eight, okay. eight nine inches tall. Yeah. And that's why the shim spacer is at the bottom. Over here were medium frames, so there's a lot of space here. I better let the bees know what I'm doing. So when you start a hive, you start with a queen? Okay. Yeah, let me take this over here. I'm just going to put this out here. What you'll see is pretty soon some bees from the hive will discover that and start um, start transporting the sugar, the nectar here, back over. Oh, keep them occupied. So the bees that were on this don't know where they are outside the hive, probably. They're prob probably not field workers. Right, so they would know they stay in the hive, so they... Can you see the bee on the finger here? Well, you don't when you're crawling around on my hive tool, that's where I tend to pinch them because I move the tool and it squeezes between my finger and my tool, so we'll just shake them off. I said I'd show you some brood, some baby bees that will be down below the queen excluder. Okay. Step back a little bit there. This is the first time around, then. I 
Okay, so what we got there, we have honey, and this is brood that they started filling up with honey. Walk away from it too. Is it yep. going up his pant leg? Don't pull too hard until they get one up your pant leg. Okay, you can see the little tiny eggs are, he's a little larger down in this one. Okay. Want to try to see him? Okay. If you look over here under my thumb at that area, if you look in there, I don't know if you see a little white, tiny little white stripe. Okay. If you come look over my shoulder, the sun helps. active in here. No, pretty hard to see. Did you want to try to see again, Asher? Mm -hmm. Right in this 
cells right in there at the very bottom, a little white tiny strip. Just like a little tiny splinter. One? Oh, one? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, you can see here how they've trimmed the blocks away yeah, yeah. to make the tunnel. So I don't need to look anymore to see that that the bees are that the hive is healthy because I'm seeing eggs. That means that as of three days ago, there was a queen that laid them. After about three days, the, um, the eggs start to hatch into the pupa. Okay. Queen excluder is next. I'm going to dump these back in. These came off of that frame. Now watch these last bees will fall in. Yeah. See how they just fell right in? They seem fairly resilient to being yeah. bumped around. There are some that are being excited around my head, as you might see, so... Oh, did you see the queen excluder? See the screen there? The openings are big enough the bees, the, the worker bees, can go through, but too big for the queen to crawl through. Now they put this back on, I want to make sure that I don't see the queen up here on top. The queen is almost twice as long as a worker bee and a little bit fatter. But she's probably down in here somewhere laying eggs. Does she move around? Yeah, she'll, she'll crawl from frame to frame. What I'm going to do is put this in so that they draw out. adding on an empty set of empties here so that they'll draw that out. Um, and then I probably won't this year. I was going to look to see if I could find any that look like it was that far this year. Hello to my bees first. Pretty soon as long as many as pop as there were, isn't that funny? You can see how they're built from bridges across the bumped them rather hard and some bees came out to see what's going on. What I want to do is look up under this. It's hard for me to lift. When this is full, it'll be about 80 pounds yeah. with the deep frames. 